Hi guys, how are you doing? We're out in the woods and notably we're in a beech woodland which is these guys favourite habitat and we're going to be talking about this mushroom here. There's some more here, another one over there because this is the charcoal burner and it's a really good wild edible for several reasons. It's quite widespread, it's a fairly common mushroom. It likes, as I said before, these beech woodlands but it will grow other places and it's a fairly easy one to ID once you've got into mushrooms and you start knowing your mushrooms a little bit better. There are some dangerous lookalikes, so we're gonna talk about how we would know what we're looking for as we go through this video. And to do that, I want to start somewhere else, looking at another mushroom, actually. So down here, we have a different mushroom. This is not a charcoal burner, but it is in the same family. This is from the Rasula family. And that's why I wanna to talk to you about this because the Rasula family is a great family for the forager to learn and start to have a bit of a play around with and get to know different foraging methods. So how do you know? First of all, the most important thing is to know that you have a Rasula. Well, a Rasula or a Rasula won't have a ring or a veil on the stem. They will generally have really quite stout stems and they also won't come from a vulva or egg sac at the bottom. Those are really, really important features. They will almost always have this really quite stout stem that's quite often described as similar to chalk because when you crush it, it kind of flakes and crushes in the same way chalk would. Another common name for the Rasula family or the Rasula family is the brittle gills because when you run your thumb or finger across the gills they will flake flake away and break because they're so brittle the reason for that is because these guys actually have round cell walls rather than oval shaped cell walls like almost everything else almost every other living being has oval shaped cell walls because they just bind together that little bit better and that's why these guys are so brittle like I say, another name for them is the brittle gills. So if you've done all of those checks, you can be quite sure that you've got a rustler mushroom. There's one last thing as well that you can check because a lot of these, they really vary in cap colors. I haven't mentioned the cap color because they can be bright yellow, bright red, all sorts of different colors, even gray and brown. And we'll talk about one of the gray ones in a minute. But another type of mushroom that shares that variable cap color and can superficially look similar are the milk caps. So if you were to break a bit of the cap on a milk cap, it would ooze this white liquid substance. And that would tell you that you have a milk cap species. But we don't have any of those things here. So we must have a Rasula, at which point you do a taste test. Now, I'm not going to necessarily advocate a taste test for every single mushroom, but in the UK, there are no mushrooms that it's dangerous for you to sample a bit of and spit out. It's something some people don't know. You know, even the most deadly mushrooms we have here, while I wouldn't necessarily suggest that you use that, it is still, you know, perfectly safe to try a little bit and spit out as long as you spit out every last bit. But the Rasulas, the taste test, is a great way of checking if you've got an edible mushroom. Because if you chew up, and let it sit on your tongue for a few seconds and then spit it out. Make sure you get it all out. All of the poisonous species will have a really hot, spicy taste. They will get really quite hot quite quickly. So that's how you can avoid all of those dangerous specimens of the Rasula family. So here's an example of a mushroom that looks superficially quite similar, but look what happens when you break the cap. That is a milk cap. Completely different family of mushrooms. Obviously this one also won't have the brittle gills. See how those gills stay on the mushroom? They don't break away. So with that brief introduction to rustlers or rasulas, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. That's why I keep repeating myself. Now we need to get back to our charcoal burners, which are 
in a lot of people's opinion, and I think mine as well, these are probably the best edible in the Rasula family. You do all the usual tests to make sure that you've got a Rasula, particularly that chalky stem one, because this actually breaks one of the rules that I've just taught you. Now, this is the only member of the Rasula family that doesn't have brittle gills. The gills are actually quite flexible and they feel a little bit greasy when you stroke them. So if you've done all of the other checks to make sure you don't have anything dangerous, you know, you've got your stout white stem that's very, very chalky, no ring, no veil, no vulva or egg sac, and you're certain you've got a Rasula and it doesn't flake at the gills, then you have a charcoal burner. And this cap color is pretty typical of the charcoal burner. And uh, they can vary though, they can vary. They can be like, this one's a little bit of a hue of green. I'm not sure how well the camera will pick that up. But uh, there you go. I mean, this is September, early to mid-September, which is typical time for these guys to start coming out. It's a great time to go out and start foraging. So I'm going to harvest some of these and these will be going in my tea this evening. So there you go, the charcoal burner. And as always, guys, please make sure that you do like this video. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. And I'll speak to you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.